Well, good morning and welcome back. It's another episode of Sunday Story. I'm pretty sure I just said that on my own. Anyway, we are back with another instalment, another story from the Jesus Storybook Bible as we work our way through the unchanging story of God's love for humanity and what he is doing to rescue us. Jesus has arrived in the story. We're more than halfway through now. And Jesus is starting to explain and to teach some of what it means to be loved by God, to be children of God, how that changes our lives. And this week, we're looking at a story in which Jesus teaches us all how to pray. Enjoy. How to pray. In those days, there were some extra super holy people. At least, that's what they thought. And they were called Pharisees. Every day, they would stand out in the middle of the street and pray out in big, extra super holy voices. They really weren't praying so much as just showing off. They used lots of special words that were so clever, no one understood what they meant. People walking by would stop and stare, which might sound rude, except that's exactly what the extra super holy people wanted. They wanted everyone to say, look at them, they're so holy, God must love those people best. Now, you and I both know they were wrong. God doesn't just love holy people. But the people walking by weren't so sure. Perhaps you did have to be really clever or good or important for God to love you. Perhaps you had to know lots of difficult, clever words to speak to God. So, one day, Jesus taught people how to pray. He said, when you pray, don't pray like those extra super holy people. They think if they say lots of words, God will hear them. But it's not because you're so clever or good or even important that God will listen to you. God listens to you because he loves you. Did you know, said Jesus, that God is always listening to you? Did you know that God can hear the quietest whisper deep inside your heart, even before you've started to say it. Because God knows exactly what you need, even before you ask him. You see, God just can't wait to give you all that you need. So you don't need to use long words or special words. You don't have to use a special voice. You just have to talk. So when you pray, pray in your normal voice, just like when you're talking to someone you love very much. Like this. Hello, Daddy. We want to know you. And be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything in the world right again. And in our hearts too. Do what is best, just like you do in heaven, and please do it down here too. Please give us everything we need today. Forgive us for doing wrong, for hurting you. Forgive us just as we forgive other people when they hurt us. Rescue us, we need you. We don't want to keep running away and hiding from you. Keep us safe from our enemies. You're strong, God. You can do whatever you want. You are in charge. Now and forever and for always. We think you are great. Amen. Yes, we do. You see, Jesus was showing people that God would always love them with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. 
so they didn't need to hide anymore or be afraid or ashamed. They could stop running away from God and they could run to him instead as a little child runs into her arms of her daddy. Well, that is it. Another story done and dusted. Actually, not quite yet. There's still the small matter of a craft that you can go away and do now while grown-ups enjoy the grown-up service. And Sunday school, 11.30 on Zoom, where you get to show off your crafts, where you get to speak about your weeks, and you'll get to think a little bit more about today's story. So what are you going to do? How are you going to do a craft based around praying? Well, that's up to you. My suggestion, if you can't think of something off the top of the head, is to go onto Google and type in prayer crafts. Could be anything. I'm very excited to see what you come up with. Anyway, that's enough for me. All I've got to say now is bye-bye. <laughs>